Hiya, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are back working on the transitor that we have seen in previous videos. But today we've got a fault with it. I'll show you what the fault is. So I'll shut this door and then we get Yes. So it thinks the back door is open. Now, actually, I've cheated a bit here because I've sort of bodged this fault already, so it's working now. And I'm simulating the fault of what we had. So luggage compartment open. And then when I try and lock it, it does that. Won't lock. I'll show you what the fault is why it's doing this shit and the fault is in fact because the back door is open but i've only done that to simulate the fault that was here before the back door was open and as you can see this this has been attacked recently um like i said i've bodged this already and, and this is where i'm going to fix it because the um i was driving it and i pressed this yellow button to open the door all the way and then when I shut the door, it didn't know the door was shut. So it gave me an indication as to where the fault was going to be. And I had an idea it was going to be something to do with these wires in here. So this is where I went straight to this. And I fixed it in the best way possible. Yes. Now, I wouldn't normally condone using chocolate box connectors on anything to do with a car or a van. Or motorcycle or anything that moves. Because they're not really very good for it. But it's all I had at the time. When I was trying to lock the van. And I couldn't lock the van because it didn't know the door was shut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this out but the problem as to why and, and to be honest most people aren't going to watch past this part of the video because this is you know the issue is if you look at all these other wires they're all starting to break they're all going green and it's where it comes out of this sheath in here now that sheath and i've cut back because it was to the exact point where they're broken so to fix it i think oh yeah this by the way this was before was hooked up behind here which i've dragged it out just to get to it in emergency situations i've said um this wire does go behind this and on the other side of that and then hooks into the and also it has all this shit in front of it as well but that's sort of self-explanatory to take off anyway so i probably should get on with actually fixing it so unplug that from there so it is free and then there is there's one of them which hooks into there, which just gets screwdriver and can remove. And now, if I push that, I can pull that, I can pull this out of here, and then I can get to it to repair it. The only thing about this though is, I had three wires broken, as you can see, and all the wires are black. It seems to be some sort of security wiring and one of them is slightly fatter than the others and the other two are the same size and i just guessed and it seems to have got it right so that could be a problem if you've got more wires broken but hopefully it'll start fucking up and showing you signs that it's fucked up when you've only got one or two wires broken so i just need to join these wires now which involves in my case taking off these completely unsuitable to the situation chocolate block connectors um and I need to do it one at once because as I said, the wiring isn't labeled or doesn't appear to be labeled from what I can see. Um, it seems to be security wiring. So I just need to disconnect one at once and then put a little length of wire into it to lengthen it slightly so it's not being pulled as hard. That, that's the plan anyway. So that is one off and I'll try and get this shit to focus on that. But we have got, the copper starting to corrode and go green so i'm going to cut it back a bit to get to fresh copper like so and then hopefully it will take some solder but i need two hands to feed the solder in as i'm applying the soldering iron so i can't really film that yes and then right, i'm just going to butt joint these and you don't want to have too much of the soldered part of the wire on the joint because the joint becomes not flexible so I've cut them down a little bit and then all I've got to do is put that this is what I made earlier by the way this is my extension piece I want to do this for all the wires so it's not as tight put that next to there solder that to, put that next to there solder that together like that um, by the way this 
like this Milwaukee saw behind battery powered thing is fucking mint. So much less fucking about than getting a wire and a gas one or whatever else. Next, I need to put some heat shrink over that joint, which you just feed on from the end, as you can probably appreciate, until you cover the joint. And then now I need to shrink it. You can either use a heat gun or you can use fire. Yeah! And then when it is shrunk properly, that is one joint, one down, loads to go. So now I need to join the other end. Before I do that, I need to put a bit of heat shrink over it because obviously I won't be able to put heat shrink over it once I've joined it. So it leaves me with something like this. So now I can put this heat shrink over there, shrink it again. Yes. And we can see that that wire that I've joined is now longer than the rest of the wires. So what I need to do is I need to the same for all these wires so that they're all a little bit longer and not being pulled as hard and no, they're actually connected and hopefully this shit won't happen again and next i've just done the same shit with that one and next one up's this one but that is too oxidized to solder so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to take a stanley blade and scruff scuff it all off as much as i can to make it shiny try and sort of demonstrate the technique that i'm going to use but it, other way around and then um Glue your fingers back on. Fucking hell, this is out of one hand. I'm still going to proceed and try and do it though. I'm going to persevere here. But if you just get the, that sort of angle and just scrape it backwards or putting some pressure on it, and then you have to split all the strands up and keep on doing it until they basically shine again all the way around. Which leaves me with a bit more shiny wire. Um, now, I'm probably going to get someone saying, oh yeah, just dip it in some flux. Uh, when it's that badly fucked up, flux won't actually do it. I mean, the solder that I'm using is flux close solder. It's got flux already in it. Um, yeah, flux won't clean that. You need to manually clean it, unfortunately. So I'm going to do the same with this shit here. And as you can see, that was successful. And I will now have two tinned wire ends. Now you can see where I haven't managed to scrape it back up to the insulation. But it's not tinned because the solder won't stick to that bit. So now I need to join another wiring. Yes. And another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Yes. So now they're all roughly the same length. Right. I was going to rewrap it in that shit like it was before I de-wrapped it from that shit. Yes. So now this is pretty much done. So I've got to build the shitter back up so that goes through there. Right, I probably should have plugged it in first just to make sure it works before I wrapped it, but I have every confidence that this isn't going to work. I need to press that yellow button to push that shit through open all the way. It's easier to fold that into there without bending the shit out of everything. Nice and carefully. And then it needs to be fed along here because it needs to go above that as you can see and then I can plug that back in which just pushes back together might not push back together using one hand but I'm going to try anyway yes and then on the back of that plug there's one of them and then further up here on the wire there's another one of them now that one plugs into there it's just like a returning shitter that needs pushing through there. This one needs pushing through there. Like so. Have another bash at this shitter. Yeah. Now I'm not left handed and I'm using my left hand here, but not working. Right, so now this. This is to stop the wire from chafing on the metal of the door frame. So that needs to go in there like so. And now it's just a case of building it back up, putting the cover back on, which I don't really need to show, I don't think. Because if you've got this far, I didn't show taking it off, so if you've got this far, you don't know it. You already know how to take it off and put it on. Yes. Can't find them two, but fuck it. And then that's back on, so all I've got to do now is put this back on. 
which is just a case of putting some screws in. So I think that's where I'm going to leave the video. That's all for this one. Not the usual sort of fucking about. Sorry about that. Um, but fix the van, I think. Unless it don't work. If it don't work, I'll, I'll come back in a minute. But I think it will. Um, so don't forget to check out the other videos, all that kind of crap. Like, subscribe, and uh, check out my Instagram. And see you next time. Yes. <laughs>